What's up, guys? All right, so we're here on another video. Miss Torres. We're here making another video. Here. Well, as an IT technician, I have the one of many jobs to pick up technology at the end, at the end of the year. So, I already did all that, but I'm going to take you on to the rest of the summer vacation that the students have and what teachers and technology does after everyone has left, after everyone has basically gone home and the school is just empty. So, I'm going to take you on a tour today. Not really a tour, but just really see how everything is after every student has left. It is an amazing show. Watch. Alright. So here is basically more or less what you see after school hours, but what you don't see only students who are parents to the teachers they tend to see everything but this is how a classroom would look after everything all the tables pushed back chairs pushed back Promethean TV pushed back everything pushed back into one corner so the janitors can clean all the floors um, they will label everything. I don't think these things are labeled yet. They would label the cl their classroom number on each chair and each table so they could keep count on who's... Ooh, someone left some jackets. But they would leave their name and their... Um, their last name and their number, room number, so they can... so they can keep count on what goes where. So, here's some more stuff. Summer school kids will actually know what this is. This is a classroom that will be for summer school, actually. These next few classes will be for summer school. Okay, guys. So, we're gonna see the office staff, actually, on how they end the year. So, this is all the office staff. Yeah! And that's really how they end the year. They're, all of us are going to head out and go to a meeting, actually. And that's the end of the this year is meeting. This we, we go to meetings. <laughs> 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 that's the music. So, yeah. We're going to go head out to the meeting, and then I'll show you some more stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, light, there you go. Okay, so I know for a fact that this room was filled top to bottom with just decorations, posters, uh, student uh, worksheets, everything top to bottom. So I'm going to show you a before picture, then an after picture, or not an after picture, but an after video of everything being stripped from these walls. It's just completely empty. And it was a massive, only I think the students whose parents are teachers and the people who are watching this who are teachers, they know the struggle of taking everything down, putting everything up at the beginning of the year, then taking everything down at the end of the year, and then having to go through all the stuff of just tearing down, uh, tearing, throwing away, putting away everything in, because we give, other teachers have like a little closet, not that big but they usually just stuff everything in there. Alrighty, alrighty, so we're gonna walk, or I'm not gonna walk, I'm gonna drive actually, to the high school. It's so convenient how the middle school, the high school, and elementary are just built so close together. Watch, I'll show you. This, is how close the because we're, right now we're at the elementary campus. So I I'm district wide, but I primarily work for the elementary campus. I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I have the the schnipples. Yeah, my allergies are pretty bad. Let me turn this down as well. So my other.
allergies are pretty bad. But I primarily work for the elementary. I also I do on occasion go to the high school and middle school whenever they do need help and vice versa. Whenever I need help, the, the technicians over there would come and help me. Hopefully I'll get the other technicians in this video. But and just take another left turn. Another left turn. Gonna get on this right lane here. I don't know if I should park in the front or the back, but I'm gonna shoot for the front because that's where everyone mostly is. I'm gonna take a right turn here right at the Dona Palace. And, oh, yes. So, as you can see, there's tents. I don't know if you can see it, but hopefully I can find some parking. I'll just park behind here. behind this person and boom we're here at the high school oh I could I could scoot in a little bit more and shoot all right boom we're at the high school and that is how close the high school is from the elementary just, you're gonna hear the awful noise oh, the awful noise but as you can see everywhere tents just full of tents because we're having a cook-off we have a cook-off every single year so yes Kathy how may I help you you're gonna be in the vlog I want to be on the vlog okay so we have a cook-off every single year come over here so we're gonna see how one thing is cooking how's it looking guys Really good. That looks good. Boom. That's one of many, I mean many cooks. See, we have one, we have two over here, we have three, four, five. People are just everywhere. We do this every year. This is a fourth or fifth year that we do this. So it's, it's horrific. <laughs> Yes, I can Photoshop. Boom. So no look, no view, nothing, nothing. I can't see. Boom. Just more, more delicious stuff. Oh, I almost tripped on the chair. But this is what we do every single year. So, so sooner or later we'll hop inside the uh, high school get the meeting going and I'll show you bits and pieces of the meeting and then we release for the whole summer but except for us and other parts of the staff who are supposed to be here and who are gonna stay the whole summer sorry I just look towards because there's something going on like there's stuff going on over there and I don't know what it is okay so that's a fourth annual cook-off I confirmed it fourth annual cook-off they do this no they don't do this every year but since I've been here they've done it every single year and they have the prizes which I will show you now and uh, I, I'm not too sure what's the first, second, third, fourth. I don't. I think there was a total of seven teams, maybe eight teams. Um, but they they have done this for four years. Go and it's if I hate the contest, whoever picks the best. If I hate this. I showed you the judges, the people behind the curtain, which I'll show you now. And they get to decide who's fajita was the best, who cooked it, who's, uh, the seasoning was good, the tendering, everything. So, they have that, the judges change every year. So it's not every single time, but the judges do change every year. And I'm walking towards the 
gym, not the gym, the stadium, because I just found out that they were practicing their graduation. So I'm heading that way. See? So graduation today. So that's something else I'm gonna be vlogging also. Get bits and pieces of the of the graduation. It will be live stream us as technology. We live stream it. So uh, hopefully I'll put I'll put the link because it will. This video will probably be done after graduation, so I'll put in the link to rewatch it if you haven't watched it and watch it. So I'm gonna meet up with the other technician, Chris. So I'll see ya. People lining up for food, and then everybody else. And then they're tossing out a beach ball. But that's basically it. That's all. That's everyone. And so, so I'll be showing bits and pieces of the superintendent speaking, and show you bits and pieces on who won on the cook-off. So keep stay tuned. The third place team is we have Coach Brown, Coach Garcia, and Coach Romney. Second place team is Kirby and Lamar. The first place team, which is it's Marissa Adam and Brianna. And that guys, that includes the day. It is only, we only have half a day, but we're gonna be back here around four o'clock just to get everything situated with graduation. Oh, we got a new toy actually. This is, this is good. Look at this, look at this, look at this. A Bose speaker, dang, look at that. Humongous tower, not just one, not just one, but two. I'll be there at the graduation. Like I said, I'll put the link down in the description below after the graduation this is over because this video will go uh, up after graduation. I know that for sure. So we'll see you there at graduation, guys.